written that every reflection of reality is also a selection of reality and thus necessarily a deflection of reality. Bert points to the problem inherent in representation. Every time we attempt to represent or speak for another, we are caught in a game of power and privilege. According to Linda Alcock, a professor of philosophy, who describes the life of being invisible to the world of public discourse, the entitlement to speak is not natural. It is a part of certain rituals of speaking present in a given situation. The positionality of the speaker, the nature of discursive context, predetermine the truth value of what's said. This is all caught in these two. Rituals are speaking about not only the but their position within the social space, including the position now to speak as a discourse of conscious put it inside this and how it will be affected by both the location of the speaker and here's the truth. By the rest of the staff, will be affected, for example, in any situation where the woman speaks presumptions against the rituals to speak effect with their claim, they think as well to a, a true, well reasoned, compelling argument. Rituals of speaking are part of a genocidal geopolitics of knowledge production. National borders mark cultural and epistemic boundaries that disqualify non European epistemologies and justify the eradication of differences. Make no one trust in Nolan 6. The modern foundation knowledge is territorial imperial that epistemological potential was set in place that spilled the outside of the epistemic colonial differences, epistemic differences are based on racial classification, the problem of the issue of the planet's work, and majority continues to go beyond the subject of inferior to devil's attention, and other for continues just by oppression, exploitation, well as eradication of different borders are not those geographic products, but putting forth certain types of the very types of products that exist of the people and language, at least with their relations established by Cody Oliver, and they have been created by the perspective of European and colonial, and the experience of the body of control knowledge by supporting non European epistemological drugs and diseases by globalization of culture. Teams like Louisville, Calcy, Fulton, and Townsend have long been telling us that systems of privilege infect the arguments that we make in debates. Economic, racial, sexual, and other forms of cultural privilege help to produce some training and biases in debates practice. Even the very metaphor of speaking gives itself a privileged notion of assuming certain norms of communication and action which marginalize the claims made by those without access to speech. We would reject this metaphor out of hand if it weren't for the fact that doing so would only further mask the privilege that does come from our ability to speak. As a white male in the United States, I am deemed as a subject capable of producing knowledge that should be listened to in debates when Emily is crossed, I say, directly their questions towards me because I am considered to be the gatekeeper of our decisions. When Emily tries to regain control of prospects, people continue to talk over her instead of letting her ask another question. At its most basic, traditional data for student presupposes the right to make claims on behalf of the federal government without her asking why we get to do that. Many teams read evidence from John Rawls to justify their policy simulations. Rawls argues that citizens are to think of themselves as if they were legislators and ask themselves with statutes they think would be most reasonable to enact. Always gloss over when debaters read this evidence is the subject of all citizens. It is the citizen who asks as if. It is the citizen who thinks reasonably. It is the citizen who views themselves as ideal legislators. I get to speak because I am a citizen. My speech forms a social basis of liberal democracy. It is my nation that that validates my speech. As a white citizen in the United States, we are granted the privilege of having habeas corpus, and we have a right to not be detained without charge. However, 166 bodies in Guantanamo Bay have been held for more than a decade, even though Bush, Obama, or both have cleared 86 for transfer. This is Feinstein and German in 13. Once on the base holding 166 and those who listed them have been cleared out there for more than a decade since the 166 that the babies are slated for trial while the 146 others are way held without trial until the war against terrorism is over. More than half babies have been cleared for transfer by Bush administration. The bottom administration are both nonetheless they remain in debt of the detention of legal limbo of the place. Of these transfers was not dramatically increased by the end of President Obama's statement to the majority of Guantanamo Bay detained there. Today will, have been, uh, held, uh, will be held without trial for almost 15 years. Guantanamo Bay is the stated exception par excellence. Detainees are going to be held as long as their war on terrorism infinite deten or indefinite detention becomes infinite detention under this stated exception. This is Butler and Fort. The state producer says the actual trial law that no law of course that's no for a process that is no process definitely made. If detention may be indefinite, such and such are just by the ways of the state of virtue with the United States can and we're attracted to a definite state of a detention. The state says the act of function now is a condition of national virtue so that the state will now have recourse to legal detention provided the substitution of the established law of the score becomes forward part of the side that runs to get to which just like that. This is the military intervention of the state of virtue 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 of the state of we are in a state of national emergency. If all the state of emergency is not a limited time to follow, a service is limited to without end. That means the state of emergency is potentially limited to and without end. Being marked as dangerous is sufficient to justify continued detention regardless of acquittal by military tribunals. This decision is made behind closed doors by people not accountable to the public. This is Butler and Fort. They maintain that some persons will be denied and hand in death with the state of the law. All cases are self-empowered to exercise their judgment regarding who is dangerous. Those who are detained after the will have their case reviewed by officials, not by courts on periodic basis. This decision to detain those that are decision to act in military reasons grounded in law. They are determined by the discretion to that function of the manifesto law. The manifesto law is that they are preferred to detain them to continue to detain somebody. And that is the general judgment by government officials. Who simply deem them to be given into order to gain them to replace the dangerous state. That's the evening takes place in the constitution of the court to which they think exercises that are involved in the situation of the law. It's giving us someone a dangerous and sufficient to make that person dangerous and justify his indefinite detention. This final political state of exception destroys the experience of being alive in ontologically racist history, justifying continued violence. This is huge for the innate. 
asserting an undifferentiated faculty that life starts with the social group of persons who life and there's nothing social without them to be a merchant since the place where public and social community states, granting that the fine work can't attend a conscious life, what traditional life are valuable in the empty century to be, a mere being history becomes an empty point of power, since they can happen, but nothing can be fine in silence and censored or not, no other circle of termination or faith or death, they cannot without being able to argue the quality of the choice of making, they can establish a class that's fine, so they are involved in the torn structures that is a rule to match, it's not something to pull out the social work of the welcome of the child, the methods of pure life seeks to untouch the erase of the results, it's not political, it's a political mission in which they're not fearfully, but class the order's time itself, virtual life is the defining principle of policy, the merchant of pure life is the cash, and they cannot last to the judgment of the code of order, and it is the conception of songs again, and this is a class, a class of sociality of intercommunication that stretches life into a post social order. Abdel Fahadi Faha has deta is detaining number 329 at Guantanamo Bay as the Syrian national who has been in U.S. custody since 2002. His voice is silenced and ignored. Life in prison is marked by continued torture and oppression. He demands prisoners quit for at least be released, otherwise they should be brought to trial. This is for round 13. This is my call to the outside world behind these Brussels bars in this monster cell. The past few months have been among the harshest lived by the prisoners here during the Bush years. Solutions seem possible under Obama. It seems like there is no will to solve the problems the military has been using. We're of course against hunger strikers. They have beaten up the use of rubber coated bullets and tear gas against the state. It's unusual for prisoner guards to have to search prisoners' genital parts and erect them ten times in a single day. Even in America, they sell there. Our process is demanding that the U.S. government closes this prison. President Obama can begin by listing those of us who have been cleared or charged or cleared for at least years ago, followed by prisoners who have not been charged with any crime after 11 years in captivity. However, these legal benefits fail to understand how deeply inscribed their life is to the body before the law. These detainees are further inscribed into a biopolitical network of surveillance that is to more intent. By speaking of the pure form and indistinguishable between life law, Obama implies that this form of law operating according to the very degrees of purity may itself to change as its object not individual by population solution for all which work. What's the prerogative of some negation of absolute personal war with their enemies to get a can and can turn entire proper job that the isolated sure people individual such law average work more than normal law by law mobile side putting because a means by which those sides to divide themselves in the population of drugs due to marks such as dangerous hairs and human drugs they strive upon their bodies to choose that they give your people's initial law minus a possible delivery of the detention of enemy combatant by humans from the culture of this war choice capture produced is dangerous. If we cannot claim to know the other through our acts of, acts of representation, then what are we supposed to do? We are in a double bind on one hand, failure to use the perspective of the other one, sure the continuation of structures of oppression, but on the other hand, there is no guarantee that our representations will themselves also be aligned with biopolitical discourse. There is no easy answer. Speaking for others and speaking about them are deeply intertwined. Feedback suggests a strategy of unlearning that privilege is lost. We need to learn to occupy the central position of the other, which can only be accomplished through a historical critique of our own positions as an investigating person. This is feedback in 90. There is an impulse to sit the masses, speak for the masses, describe the masses. How about learning techniques to learn to speak in such a way that the masses are not regarded as bullshit? In fact, speak in such a way that a person would actually, or would actually listen to me and not speak to me. This is one of those many cloning missions that when embodied in the passion for the learning, which represents them in analyzing and disclosing what's open to shouting for the community to power left in young white male gender will say, I am only a virtual white male, I can't speak to you. I'm investigating what is silent history rather than taking this very disturbing position. This by skin color, this is my text, this I cannot speak with you. Making your task to learn what's going on in the short critique group, such as the messy person that you have earned the right to criticize and say, well, criticize and sitting in your conscious stuff, holds the fashion around discourse. He has your position for themselves on how to act by the social position of the other rather than simply saying, okay, sorry, we're just saying if white people never business or never be not speak for blacks, then business goes on as usual. An attempt to unlearn our privilege and learn to act by the social position of the other, we are resolved that the United States Congress should advance substantially increased statutory restrictions on the war powers, authority that are present. The United States by requiring that people that they end indefinitely at Guantanamo Bay and receive civilian trials or be released. Standard practice would ask us to defend this as if it were implemented by that body in Washington, D.C. Debaters move the content of what is said away from the subject who speaks in the context and is spoken in this free establishment of the privilege of the speaking subject by bringing their position out. Their position transparent for closest analysis of the speaking situation. It is not enough to evaluate the context of each team's claims to decide who's argues a better reason to research, nor can we decide based on whose idea would be best in some hypothetical world of fear. Instead, the criteria for evaluation must be whether the effects of their speech help to reconfigure rituals of speaking and debate in such a way as to ally with resistance to oppression. This is all talk in 92. The ritual speaking bears are many said that there is no possible ability for such allocation of conscious relevance to God that we are no longer determined ability by asking whether or not the speaker says special research conscious allocation of conscious relevance to God that we are all about what is legal or not. Given that Paul's mechanics are still not what is smart to be aware of who is thinking who is spoken who is to listen to such a thought of what is spoken we cannot make an absolute violation of a claim without assessing the politics of the situation. Okay, so you, okay. you ended the card but you didn't get to the next card. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, so the plan is what, or what is the sort of advocacy that we should be able to... The app advocates that we should occupy the subject position of the other and learn to criticize our... Uh, uh, occupy the subject position of the other, how do we do that? We make a demand from their position. Who, who are they? Uh, in the instance of the app, we're talking about um, Farah, who is a detainee at Guantanamo Bay. Why do you claim to have any knowledge of what it's like for Farah to exist? What do you mean? 
Yeah. What you say you can occupy his subject position. I don't understand how you can do that. What what gives you the authority to occupy that position? Feedback indicates that through our process of unlearning our privilege and understanding how our privilege impacts our particular speaking context is how we yeah. can begin well, to that makes attempt sense, But that doesn't answer how you think you can understand Faraz's We don't position. claim to understand his position. We acknowledge that that's impossible. How do we occupy the subject position? It's a question the of side. analyzing the social location from which he's making the demand. We what, can't what understand that, that What is that social location? You didn't analyze it at all. You just mentioned did. him and then you read a card. We did. We can't understand that he is labeled Guantanamo Bay detainee number 329. We do know that he's a Syrian national who has been in custody since 2002, who has been cleared for release and is sure. still being hunger fed or okay. force fed in He's also time. published this uh, letter on the internet. It's received quite a lot of press. What does the invocation in this specific space do for Faraj? What? What does the invocation of his narrative and your occupation of his place, what does that do for him? I mean, the way that we situate the ballot in this debate, I think, is useful to address this question. The way that uh, claims should be evaluated is through what effect they can have on the speaking situation. Great. What, what, effect, is that what effect do you speaking, have on the speaking situation? Right. We de-hegemonize the way in which the uh, subject is constituted within biopolitics. Right? So how, the pieces I, of I don't evidence understand what that sentence means. How is the subject constituted in biopolitics? Right. The pieces of Butler evidence uh, that we read talk about how detainees in Guantanamo Bay are rendered bare life. Their life what has is bare nothing. Life? What is uh, pure like biological life? Pure biological. What does that mean? Like there is no. The Huseman evidence indicates that there is no social context. There is no in nothing that would necessarily uh, give meaning to anything but biology. Okay, so they're, they the detainees just become pure biology. Is like the impact of this argument. Sure. Yeah, sure. That's, 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 one that's bad. Uh, what should a negative strategy take in order to Simultaneously unlearn our privilege, but also provide a competitive advocacy in this uh, You round. should probably, one, unlearn your privilege, I two, uh, epistemologically defend your claims. No, no I know, but I understand. I, uh, debate is competitive, which means we have to say some sort of you know, competing strategy. Like what, I'll take a little bit of preface because it's still working. What kind of strategy would be. I mean, I'm not going to give you a one and two strategy, but I do think. Well, I get that. that what are the conditions of competition? What should we be debating? Sure. About? Sure. Uh, what should we be debating about? Our yeah. LCOP evidence indicates that we should debate about how the context, aka this speaking situation, has a bearing on the truth claims that we evaluate. Okay. So advocacies that you present should be particular to a context of the debate of this round of a speaking situation. Additionally, okay. our argument is that you have to heed the perspectives of those who are silenced within Heed the perspectives of those who are silenced. And that means Guantanamo detainees, because did you heed any other perspectives? Um, Alcock also indicates that you're right. We also selectively pick okay. who is heard Great. and who is not. That's all okay. a part of our double-line argument. I'm done. Uh, so 9.15-ish? I'm still done. Oh.